Hey everybody, my name is Liddell. I'm here at Tillmore, and today I want to go over the finger weeder, which can be used for in-row cultivation, helping you pull out those weeds that are uh, right around the base of your beneficial plants that you want to keep. And we have a number of setups here that you can see can work with any number of crops that you might have. And so I'm going to go over that here today and talk a little bit about how they work and how we can help you uh, with your in-row weeding. So again, the finger weeder uh, starts with the base of a polyurethane type uh, finger that has some flexibility. And the way it's working is uh, it's working on the in-row weeds uh, right around that crop and allow it to bend up and flick around, allowing you to work that top layer of soil, basically working to remove those more hair thread style weeds or ones that are just not well rooted. It accomplishes that uh, through having a drive plate on the bottom. Uh, that drive plate helps uh, give uh, the tool enough energy and kind of momentum to give that flicking action, okay? Uh, we're able to do that then by offering different mounts and different sizes, allowing you to get into different crops. Let's start with our nine inch finger weeder. Uh, this nine inch finger weeder is designed to work with your uh, more tightly uh, spaced crops, maybe nine, 10 inches and up, and can be used a lot of times with uh, direct seeded things like carrots, beets, um, even some of your lettuces and other things like that, okay? It's a very nice, uh, compact version. I have quite a few growers using this, even on a large scale. We move up to in sizes to our 13 inch. Uh, we have both the yellow, which is softer and works in more sandy soil, and the orange, which is a little bit uh, stiffer and works in more clay soils or dense soils. And the 13 inch finger weeder is again a great tool for a lot of vegetable growers uh, who are using in operations of brassicas, beans, or corn, things on a scale that, that you're uh, not going over hundreds of acres, but you're doing more on a smaller scale. And then lastly, we have the 15 inch finger. Uh, this finger is designed for our row crop growers who are doing hundreds or thousands of acres. The longer finger allows us a little bit more uh, give into getting in there, and it also allows us longer life, and is designed specifically for those higher uh, use applications, uh, whether it be corn, beans, cotton, uh, or you name it. We've taken these fingers and also used them in an application for edge of plastic or plastic culture by stacking them. Uh, this allows us to have a, a much more consistent ability to work at that edge of plastic where another traditional steel shank may not work or operate very well in. And this can be angled on a round shank, giving you different abilities to angle and adjust uh, that to make it work well for you. I want to just touch briefly on the 26 inch finger, which is designed for vineyards, orchards, uh, nurseries, and things like that. We have two um, styles of fingers, the yellow, uh, which is a little bit stiffer and is great for uh, those, those vineyard type applications. We also have the, the uh, red finger, which is a little bit softer as well. As you think about mounting these systems, um, we have a number of different ways that can be mounted and uh, systems that you can apply them into your uh, equipment that you already have existing. So I'll just first mention the, the shank or the shaft that is mounted to the base hub. Uh, we have flat shanks. Uh, they can be mounted to round shanks to give you some ability to adjust. And also we have an ability to go on to an inch and a half bar here as well. So there's really a number of different systems that you can use uh, pulling from us or simply buy the base unit and build your own system from there. I would also mention, uh, if you're looking for application, how can I make this work onto to my power unit? And, and what kind of power units does it work with? Well, um, we have them used on any number of different power units, all the way down from walk-behind uh, tractors, so your, uh, your BCS, your Simplicity, your Planet Juniors, uh, our Tillmore 240 uh, can be uh, you know, easily applied and, and fit in there uh, with the aluminum um, uh, shank so that you can uh, work uh, that soil very simply and easily um, there. We have growers using them on mid-mount tractors. So whether it be your Farmall or your uh, Alice G or your Tillmore tractor, uh, whatever it is, uh, we have systems that allow you to uh, mount to a two by two inch bar like this flex mount, okay? Or we also have uh, trailing arm mounts that can be added in there uh, compactly, allowing you to have some give and take as well. And then for our larger growers, uh, we have the trailing arm that can be added to a uh, large toolbar that you would use for cultivation, anywhere from a four by four up to a seven by seven. And that's very effective and efficient for helping you just add on to an already piece of a cultivator that you already have that exists. 
And then as I already mentioned for the vineyards, it has its own standalone uh, mount uh, that's designed for what we call an adaptive cultivator system that really helps you efficiently and effectively weed that in row by allowing it to have some give and take for the finger as it goes around the base of the plant. A few tips and tricks that I think would be helpful for you as you think about finger weeders and, and helping you become successful in this. We recommend that the finger weeder follows some kind of cutting edge, whether it be a blade or a cutaway disc, something that's already doing some of the soil movement before the finger, so the finger only has to work that last couple inches. Again, as I mentioned earlier, fingers work best uh, removing the hair thread style weeds or weeds that are very poorly rooted. Once the weed is well rooted, it's very difficult for the finger weeders to really uproot them. Similarly, you can't, it's really hard for them to uproot uh, a crop that is well rooted as well. And I think finally, um, there's, it's important to recognize that you maybe need some down pressure on these to help them work effectively. However, just be cautionary that you don't apply all the down pressure of the machine on the unit. You're going to want to be able to have some give and take there as well. So that's a little bit of an overview of the finger weeders that we have here at Tillmore. The options that you have for being able to mount them onto your systems. And just recognize that again, all of our systems that we have are really built a la carte. And so if you would like to purchase any part of what you see here, or all of it, we can help you with that purchasing process, or you can go to Tillmore.com and uh, purchase directly on there as well. Give us a call if we can help, and thank you, and have a great day.